Did you know that it was exactly a century ago when Fred Barnard coined a phrase, a picture is worth more than a thousand words, to emphasize how images can be more effective than words in conveying messages? This skill of harnessing visual abstracts becomes increasingly relevant to us healthcare providers who need to process and relay information in the course of our profession. By the time we finish, you would have answered the why, what, and how. Why do I need to be as visual as possible? What concrete steps can I apply to better convey my messages to my intended audience? How can I transform busy and text-heavy slides into a cohesive visual summary? Let's begin with this first question. When was the last time you read the manuscript of a journal article? Be honest, I mean the whole paper. Let's use this Jack editorial to illustrate some of my key points. Time to exercise your brains. I am giving you 30 seconds to take in as much info as you can from this particular part of the editorial. Meet you in 30. And time is up. So can you tell me the gist of that part of the editorial? Or did you just doze off and take a 30 second power nap? No worries, let's break it down for you. Here is one way to present the gist. It basically deals with the principles that can guide us in making visual abstracts. Now, do you think we can do better? What changed? Can you guess? Yes, the title or header. It actually is much easier to read titles that are not fully capitalized. Haven't you noticed? Next tip. What changed in this slide? One-liners are better than two. And bullet points direct your eyes and create a sense of order. How about this one? By adding color, you create more contrast effect or emphasis. It's actually easier on the eyes, right? Another tip is to highlight keywords or phrases to quickly call the attention of the reader to the most important elements. Most of you would agree that less is more. If you can condense, then go ahead. Three bullets is ideal, but you can probably stretch it to five. Now, take a few seconds before you go to the next slide. Boom! Now, how does that look to you? The images totally transformed the slide. Plus, I put in my personal touch, my magnemonics. Now, let's try it again. Spend the next 30 seconds looking at this slide, then try to recap the content. Last tip, we can actually use animation to time the delivery of messages, the intentional pause, the suspense, the emphasis, and the drama. These can actually help you capture your audience. And when you have captured your audience, it's much easier for you to drive home your message loud and clear. For your takeaways, remember, Initial caps, one-liners, bullet points, color and contrast, keywords, condensed messages, images, mnemonics, and animation. Let's see if we have achieved our objectives.
Do you now recognize the importance of being visual? Were you able to take in concrete strategies to improve message delivery? And can you now transform your text-heavy slides into concise visual summaries? If the answer is yes to all three, then my work is done here. Doc Jadon signing off.